Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome back to Space Engineers. This is one of my build spotlights, and yeah, it's from Perfect Blinky. It's so good. Yeah, oh yeah. The Imperial Shuttlecraft, the Lambda Shuttlecraft. Now, I'm gonna warn you guys, I should have spotlighted this when it first came out. Uh, but I actually didn't notice he had done this one. He had done this one, I think this one was actually before, well before he did the Acclimator that I spotlighted. You'll notice it's kind of far off the landing pad, which has the Imperial logo strapped to the side, and its docking bay is kind of floating off, and that's because a couple of the mods he used to build this one look like they've been taken down by the mod authors, so she's missing a few things. Uh, one of the things that she's missing is actually, I think, top thrusters, because she's floating. She's floating just a little bit. So this map comes with two TIE Fighters attached right there, a couple of speeder bikes, which I I love this. Like, look at these things. I gotta get on it. He did a damn good job. This is the, um, the speeder, the motorcycle mod they've got, which I just flew off the side. Like, how cool is that? I just wanna go through a forest now. Somebody make a forest level with speeders and let's do a racing one. I think that would be pretty badass. These are really maneuverable too. All right, so they've got these, they've got the TIE Fighters, which I actually tried to spotlight and yeah, we had some issues with the multiplayer server. We tried to do a big group spotlighting TIE Fighters and it went poorly fast. So I want to do a separate video on the TIEs because he's got a great time on, but let's take a look at the Lambda. Every time I see this thing, I think of the, uh, the Imperial, the Emperor coming off it and meeting Darth Vader in Return of the Jedi. Da, 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 da. So one of the best things about Perfect Blinky's builds is they are crazy, crazy detailed. Oh, oh no, this must have been when the one of the mods broke and that landing pad just like dropped off. So as you can see, the landing pad would have come down. He had the pistons. He probably had the small rotors or something there that, oh, let's fix that. Can't have that. The Emperor's gonna be pissed. It, like wrecked his his ride. You've got seats for all your stormtrooper companions, which I can think of all kinds of game modes for this as a drop ship. All right, and what do we have back here? I actually haven't been back here. These are thrusters. That's cool. It looks like little force fields, but they're actually the thrusters. They come back here to cargo containers, so like a little mini cargo bay back here. But let's head across now. If this landing pad this uh, this drop door would have come up we've had a perfect walking place to walk right across now this is all built with small blocks so using the small ship parts mod where you can use a lot of the large parts in your uh, your small one. Oh man I love how he used the motorcycle bits to make this cockpit crazy detailed like look how cool that is all right so let's jump into the cockpit and I will show you guys some of the functionality one cockpit is amazing looking I'd love to his see his rendition of a YT-1300 of a Millennium Falcon. I mean, how cool would that be? Because I'm sure he could do the cockpit justice. Oh, it looks so good. Now, I don't have anything in my macros. They've probably been wiped because this was probably built after uh, a few of the patches beforehand. So let's drop, let's bring up the landing gear. Landing gear are fairly functional. They come on up, no problem. They actually fit snugly in there. It looks like they're made out of um, blast doors. All right, and now let's do the one thing I loved about this shuttlecraft was the wings. I don't know what purpose they have, and if you guys know in the lore what these wings actually do, is this for like stability and atmospheric flight? Let me know, but oh, look how cool that is. Let's put, give it a little forward thrust. Now, I don't think there's any locking mechanism to lock, yeah, it doesn't look like it, to lock the wings in place. I'm looking for one. What I'm looking for is landing gear, really, something to lock them in place so they don't rip off when I turn. Um, oh, she does have locks, but they don't lock. So I don't know what that does. We can reverse the ramp, even though the ramp is broken. Uh, stage one and stage two. Now I'm, now I'm curious. I don't know what stage one and stage two do. I'm gonna push it though. Reverse. Oh God. Oh, it's dropping the landing gear. I probably have to like, Reverse the wings, reverse the wings. I don't know how to fly a Lambda shuttle. Ugh. That was terrible. I bet when I bring it up, I can lock it in place, maybe. Look at the wings, the wings look perfect. They fold in right, the paint job looks fantastic. Blink, perfect Blinky, if you get back into this mod, let me know if you update it with new 
uh, user created mods so I can really spotlight this thing properly because it's just so cool. And you know all this stuff worked. He's the guy that did the acclimator build. I'm gonna try to turn without ripping my wings off because they're not locked in place. The rotors like to tear themselves off at certain speeds. Oh, there, yep, there we go. I'm pretty sure we just lost a rotor. Let's get back into first person. Very neat. She's actually pretty maneuverable. I'm taking her nice and smooth because I don't want to rip off the wings. I love this cockpit. This is such a good idea. Gyroscopes, the buttons that give you like the control panels is, I don't know what that is in the center. It's a nice touch though. All right. All right guys, well this is the Lambda Imperial Shuttle. If you like checking out Star Wars builds and even Star Citizen builds, check out Blinky's page. Uh, Perfect Blinky has done all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, he started up doing Star Citizen builds and they I'll be spotting lighting those soon. I've actually got a goal set for myself. I wanna spotlight two Republic at War videos per week. Uh, there's no promise that it's gonna happen, but I'm, I'm trying my best to get like a certain time set up where I can play some Republic at War. And then daily, just about every day, at least five times a week, I wanna spotlight a single Space Engineers build from you guys. Doesn't have to be theme based. Uh, if you have a build that you're really proud of and you want me to check out, let me know in the, I'm bringing her in. I don't have any forward thrust, I don't think. I don't think I could stop. Let me know in the comments below if you've got a build you want me to check out or if you've played one that you really dig. Oh, there goes my landing pad. I love how you can see the reflection of Earth in this map. It's just so cool. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe for the Empire. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next build spotlight. Bring up the landing gear, you dunce. What are you doing flying around with your landing gear out? It's so cool. I love this build. Somebody make a stormtrooper. Ah, I'm like freaking out. I build a, uh, it must get out the door. There we go. Somebody build a stormtrooper model for your character. I still want that. And maybe a stormtrooper rifle. Now that would be cool. All right. Peace out, may the force be with you. Later.